Okay, I'm going to try a little different method this time. We're going to use uh, the video aspect of the um, Explain Everything app and see how this works out. Hopefully you can see okay. So this is uh, homework number five again. We're talking about mechanical efficiency. And uh, the problem, this is question number three. So basically we have a uh, block and tackle system, two pulleys. It's kind of hard to draw in two dimensions here, but if you can imagine there's a rope that would go up and around over one pulley into the second half of the other pulley and then down and connect to the load. And in this case, the load has a mass of, what did it say, 4,500 newtons, I believe? Yeah, it's an engine block, sorry, 2,500 newtons. So engine block that has a mass of um, 2,500 newtons. So let's put that, let's put that right in there, 2,500 newton engine block. And then um, a motor, <clears throat> and then people will pull the rope four meters. So we'd have our people over here, probably going to have to have a couple people, peoples, uh, pull on the rope. And they're going to move the rope uh, a distance of four meters. So let's say here's our four meters of rope that they're going to take in. And how much force are they going to pull with? They're going to use a force of 700 newtons. So that's good. So now we know the force in equals 700 newtons. So this, therefore, the weight of the object must be the force out. And then it says further, they're going to move the motor. They're going to raise it one meter. So the motor is going to go from here to here. Obviously not in scale, but there's, there's our distance of one meter. So the motor is going to go up one meter. The rope's going to come down four meters, okay? So what formulas do we need? Well, we need to calculate First of all, the work done on each end of the system. So remember that work equals force times distance. Keep in mind the distance always has to be in meters. And we're also going to need to calculate eventually the mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency equals the work produced by the system, in other words, the work out, divided by the work put into the system, and we're going to multiply by 100 because Mechanical efficiency is always reported as a percent. What percentage of the energy was used to do the work by this mechanical system, by this machine, if you will? So we need to calculate our work in. So work in. We know our force in was 700 newtons. That's the people pulling on the rope. We know the rope's distance. It will move 4 meters. 4 times 700 would be 2,800 joules of input force force out. We know that now, therefore, by deduction, if you will, we know that the mass, I'm sorry, the mass, the weight of the object is the force we have, we're going to, we're going to overcome. So that's our force out. So it's 2,500 newtons. And we're going to lift it a distance. It's going to move a distance of one meter. So obviously one times 2,500 is 2,500 joules. So there we go. We have our work that goes into the system and our work that's coming out of the system. Last step, actually, to calculate mechanical efficiency. You can see most of the work is to most of the work. Uh, the work of these problems is to get your work calculated, and then it's just a simple matter of plugging them into our mechanical efficiency formula. So again, it's work out divided by work in times 100. So work out 2,500 joules. I'm really trying not to. I'm really not trying to say oot 2,000 times in this screencast because I'm sure it'd be really annoying. Divided by the work in, 2,800 joules. Uh, I did the calculation ahead of time, so I know it's 0.89. I still have to multiply by 100 to convert it into a percent. So that means that this double pulley system is 89% efficient. And again, a good question to ask yourself, how much energy was lost to friction? <coughs> Perhaps also stretching in the rope. Maybe some movement in the block and tackle, maybe some uh, slippage by the people holding and gripping the rope. But anyway, we've lost 11% of the energy put into the system. And keep in mind, though, also don't forget, although we say it's been lost, um, there's something called the, I can't remember if it's the second or third law of thermodynamics, but no energy can actually be destroyed. So in fact, it's not been lost and destroyed, it's just been converted into something else, maybe something less useful, as we mentioned before, perhaps heat, 
I would predict that um, the block and tackle system pulling this much weight upwards, even just a meter, that the rope going over and through the block and tackle, the two pulleys would get warm. I doubt that there'd be any light produced, no sparks or anything like that, uh, but it is a possibility as well. Okay, so there we go. Hope this worked out all right.